This is the first gen Acer Chromebook Spin 714, a 14-inch premium convertible Chromebook released back in August 2022. With the third gen of this model line due to release, I thought it would be a good idea to try out this first generation in 2024 and see after three weeks of use how it holds up. In this video, I'll take you through my experience with it and what to watch out for if you are considering an older Chromebook. The 7 series is Acer's more premium Chromebook offering. The spec I have here in this review unit, thanks to Chili Bob PR and Acer UK, seems to be the more common one, but as usual there are variations. So this one has a 12th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, a 512GB SSD for storage, and it's got the Intel Iris Xe graphics all of which more than stand up in 2024. Due to the high spec, it's also one of the Chromebooks that has received the Chromebook Plus software update since its release. Chromebook Plus brings some big benefits like the Gemini and AI integration I covered in my recent video from attending the Chromebook Showcase event at Google's office. I'll link that one for you in the video description. As well as the Chromebook Plus update making this Spin 714 still feel up to date in 2024, it will continue to receive Chrome OS updates Dates through to June 2032. The build quality is excellent, as you'd expect from the 7 series. It feels like an aluminium chassis, possibly with a plastic or mixed material bottom. This two-year-old review unit had picked up a few scratches there. It's just the more squared off rear corners that I'm not a fan of. It looks like in the new 2024 model, those have been rounded off. I do like the steel grey colour of this one, and there's also a dark blue option called slate blue available. Weight wise, it's coming in at just over 1.44 kg, so just over 3.18 pounds, so pretty decent for a 14 inch touchscreen Chromebook. Port wise, you've got a good selection that I think still more than stands up in 2024. The two USB C ports are both Thunderbolt 4, which offers some distinct upgrades over the more common USB C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and that's in terms of data transfers and charging. The Spin 714 also worked well with my dock with extended displays across its own screen and my two monitors. It's also got Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 compatibility, so whilst not the very latest standards, it's still more than adequate, and I had no issues connecting up devices like my PlayStation 4's controller for a bit of light gaming. Performance, as you may expect, is rapid. Nothing feels outdated in that department for Chrome OS in 2024, but it does make me even more interested in seeing how the newer version compares. I also barely noticed the fans, which is a big plus. With a low number of battery cycles on this particular Spin 714, battery life was still great for me too, with a claim of 10 hours seeming accurate for light use. Keep in mind if you do look at a used or refurbished Chromebook, you'll want to see if you can find out how many battery cycles it's had and the battery health it's reporting. As it's a spin model, it's fully convertible, so you can use it in a range of configurations. The touchscreen has a gloss finish and of course supports the garage USI stylus. It's got a 1920 by 1200 WUXGA resolution in a 16 by 10 ratio, so you get that extra height and it's also coated in Gorilla Glass. It's also decently bright, although I wasn't going to estimate quite as high as the claimed 340 nits of brightness, it still did the job. Colours look great too, as it has 100% coverage of the sRGB colour space. The bezels are also fairly minimal and balanced. One intermittent issue I experienced was sometimes when picking up the Chromebook, the stylus tools pop-up was showing, indicating that the Chromebook thought I'd removed the stylus. Again, possibly an age-related issue, perhaps the charging contacts need cleaning, for example. At the top of the screen, you've got the full HD webcam behind the privacy slider. The spec here again seems great, but keep in mind on the new model coming out, there's going to be a quad HD camera. I really like the keyboard on this Spin 714. With a medium to longer travel feel to the keys and decent feedback, it's really a pleasure to type on, and it's also backlit. The touchpad, like the screen, has a Gorilla Glass coating, so feels extra smooth. Again, probably due to it being two years old and having had some life, I can feel the very slightest movement when tapping, whereas even on my newer Acer 314, the touchpad feels 100% fixed when you tap. 
There's also the bonus of the fingerprint reader on this model, which worked really well for quickly unlocking the Chromebook. The speakers being positioned firing up on the keyboard deck is another addition you expect from a premium Chromebook, and I was really pleased with the loudness and the quality too. Here's a quick example. So as you can tell, I've been really impressed with this first gen Spin 714. After two years, both the spec and the build quality overall, just based on this one example, have held up really well. It's making me even more interested to see the newest third gen, so please do consider subscribing and ticking the bell if you want to see my review of that when I get my hands on it. If I was looking to buy right now, I'd definitely be waiting to see the new third gen model release and comparing the features and prices. Availability of this older model may be more scarce now too and rely more on the second hand market, which opens up some extra considerations about how the Chromebook has been treated as I've highlighted in this video. Let me know in the comments if you you own a Spin 714 already or if you're hoping to get your hands on the new model when it launches and in the meantime do check out this next Chromebook video from the channel.